So today I wanted to compare the two touch machines from Breville. Hey, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and uh, you know that Breville came out with the Oracle, and then they came out with the Oracle Touch, which features the screen, touch screen. Well, now they have the Barista Touch, which has the touch screen as well. Uh, we do have a crew review that you can look at for each one of these machines independent of this, but I wanted to go over the features to just compare this machine with this machine, Oracle Touch with the Barista Touch. The Oracle Touch is a dual boiler machine. What does that mean to you? That means that you can brew and steam at the same time. You've got two independent boilers that are working independently, one at steam temperature, which is much higher, one at brew temperature, which is much lower. You can also get in here and you can control the temperature of the brew boiler, whereas on this one, it's kind of preset and the parameters are very small. You don't have uh, digits on this one. You only have a slide bar higher or lower in temperature. This one you can actually put numbers to it. Also on this one, 84 ounce water tank, which is here in the back, and I will show you how that works, which is really very nice on the touch. This machine is pretty much glued to the countertop. You fill the water tank from right up here, but let's say you want to get out that water tank to clean it. Now you take this and you turn it and it takes it up onto a roller bearing. And what have you got back here? The swimming pool. It's a big tank. Eight, 84 ounces, like I said. That's huge. And you can take it out for cleaning. Whoop. Let's not push it off the countertop. Whoop, whoop. Wouldn't that be something? So that's a feature of this machine that's kind of nice. You got to put this back down again before you put the drip tray back in. Drip tray comes uh, in several pieces for you, just like all of their machines. Stainless steel casing, stainless steel clad casing. Your grinder settings right over here. And in the menu, like I said, you can have it come on in the morning and go off at a certain time. You also can change the temperature of the boiler. You can change the temperature on each one of the drinks. Let's get into a drink. You can change the grind time. You can change it from single to double brew time. You can dispense hot water. And you can also change the temperature of the milk that you're going to produce right up to 170 degrees max. Froth over here, you can change the amount of foam. Four is kind of low foam. I would take it up to higher foam. The flat white, it's all programmed for what you want. You can also get in here and do portions of milk and then you can add in different drinks and put names to them, right? You can pick an icon, a, you know, a picture off of there, put your name on it. 58 millimeter porta filter. Also, you take it over here, put it into the grinder, and then if I was to push that to the right, it automatically grinds. Now it's tamping, does a polish, it's ready to go. You don't have to do anything else. It automatically grinds, tamps, and polishes. Take it over here, get your milk going, which right here, this is automatic milk frother. Remember we set the time, or not the time, the temperature and the amount of foam that you wanted. The sensor is right here. It puts air in there to give it more or less foam, and it also senses the temperature and it automatically shuts off. And then when you get done, just wipe it off, push it down, and it automatically purges afterwards. So some nice features on this machine. Tall, a little bit tall. Bear in mind that it is a little bit on the tall side. Oh, while I'm up here, you can take the bean hopper off, change the beans, put it back in, and also you can take the topper out, clean it, do your thing right there. Put it back in there. That's the Oracle Touch. Now let's go over to the Barista Touch. What's the difference? This machine has the touch screen uh, as we talked about. The same idea where it's got all the programmable drinks and if you get into a drink it's going to have the same thing. Grind time, double or single, brew time, milk and the, and the, uh, the temperature of the milk and the amount of foam that you have. 
same idea. Water tank is right back here on the Barista Touch, 67 ounces, a little bit smaller. Uh, stainless steel casing, like all the Breville appliances have, uh, that's the same all the way around. Uh, cup warmer up here, cup warmer up here. This one here comes off of the boiler. Uh, it's not quite as hot. The bean hopper right here, same story. Lock, unlock, take it out, you're all set. You can change the beans out. This has the automatic foaming and uh, temperature control as well. It does it in a little different way. It sends the froth, uh, the foam down, the air that makes the foam down through the steam arm, but it senses the temperature in the container, your frothing cup, right here. You set the frothing cup on here, swing it down, make sure it's on here, and it will, after about 110 or so, uh, it will it won't register till you get up to around 110 and then if you're asking for 150 degree milk it'll you'll see it start to go up 120 30 whatever it is until it reaches the 150 then it'll stop automatically take it out wipe this off again push it down it also purges water right down into that little hole right there that goes into the drip tray stainless steel casing like I said polished back here 53 millimeter portafilter Stainless steel, stainless steel, which is nice. Stainless portafilters filters, that's an upgrade on any machine. On um, this machine, you would take this portafilter filter and put it over here and push in, and there's a button back here which will dispense the amount of coffee that you have asked it to. Right here is your grind time. As you up the grind time, you get more grounds in the portafilter filter or less. This one is pre-measured from the factory. You cannot change it. It is what it is. This one, the grind time tells you, and over here is your grinder setting, finer or coarser. So you're gonna be dialing this in very much like you would a standalone grinder with a semi-automatic machine. But once you get it and you program it, it's the same every time, level it off, and you are also going to be tamping with this. There's no auto tamp. You're gonna be tamping it. The other thing that this machine does not have it does not have the auto on in the morning, so you can't program it to be ready when you're ready in the morning. Uh, but it does have all the programmability for the drinks in all the same selections, six different drinks and then six more that are customized when you get over here, when you add a drink. So, um, smaller footprint. This one runs about 15 inches tall. This is about 18 inches tall. That's a, that's a concern uh, with getting it in under your upper cabinets. It's much smaller footprint all around. Water tank's smaller. It has the uh, frothing sensor, which is down here instead of in the tip. Doesn't have the auto on. You are gonna grind and tamp. It's not gonna do it all for you, but you do have this automation up here, which is quite nice. So I would say it's a nice segue between the semi-automatic, like their duo temp infuser, segue between that and the touch, the Oracle touch. Who would want this versus this? This is for somebody that's a little more budget-minded, I would say, that uh, is, doesn't mind doing a little more of the work, but they get a, a nice machine for the money. This is if you want to get up, wipe off your eyes in the morning, push a button, and out she comes. All ready for you, tamped and everything. So I would say this is for the person that this fits into their budget and they want it fully automated, but they don't want to do a super automatic. They want the quality of what you're going to get from this and the steam arms, which do a very nice job. That's the uh, target market I, market I would say for these machines is somewhere in between super automatic and semi-automatic. Check them out on our website. We have crew reviews of each one of these posted individually, which go a little bit more in depth. And uh, comments down below, as always, we always look forward to what you have to say about any of these items. And what else? Yes, that's right, subscribe. We really appreciate that, and thanks a lot for watching.